because I do not have much hair to begin with, I gave it to my sister who has more hair. Hey guys, welcome to my channel and this is all I'll be doing and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make your hair bonnet. It's just a nice thing to have. Bye, thanks. Pick up a piece of fabric that is about 24 inches wide and 24 inches long. Just a square. And fold it over. Just like this. And fold it one more time. And we're going to cut out a circle that is about 12 inches um, in diameter. Just from the top there. Make sure you have like 12 inches. You can walk with 11. You can make it more if you like. And just trace it all around from the top all the way around 12 inches everywhere. And once you've done that, you connect all of those lines together and you cut out your what will soon become a circle. And because I want it to be reversible, I am going to pick up another fabric. You may see that my fabric wasn't sufficient, so I just did some manipulations there. But anyway, you just want to pick up your other fabric and cut it just like you cut out the first fabric. So you fold it into four and cut it like that. And the next thing that you want to do is open the circle up. I'm just putting some notch mark there. So open your circle up right sides together and sew it all along leaving a portion open say about one inch wide just so that you can bring up your circle once you're done sewing so you leave that part open i am just spinning all around and i sewed all around i'm going to notch the sides or notch the circle just so that the circle lays um more flat and now i can turn it inside out once you've done that you probably want to iron everything so that it's all flat and from the edge of the circle, you want to mark out 1.5 inches just away from the edge, just like you see that circle over there. And I am going to sew it on that line and sew another line just right after that one, which I'm going to pass an elastic through. I already sewed my two lines and I'm just going to turn it over for you to see. I think it's clearer that way. See, that is just enough for my elastic to pass through it. All right, it's clearer here. My elastic band can just pass through it. And what I have next to do is cut off my elastic band. I use an elastic band of about 17 inches, and I'm using a safety pin to fish the elastic through the circle. I don't know of any other way to do this, so if you have any thoughts, you can leave a comment to let me know because I was just looking for a safety pin to do this and. Yeah, I hear there are other ways to pass your elastic band through your garment, but this is just what works for me. So once you have done that, you bring out your safety pin and it has done its job. So thank you. And you stitch it together and you want to stitch it tightly because you don't want it to wash it open when it's on your head. Once you've done that, you just close back the part, the one inch that is left open and you have your hair bonnet. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you found it helpful and please subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in my next video.